What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys part 10 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we made our way all the way to Pastora City and defeat the fourth gym. And more importantly, we evolved our Togepi or yeah, Togepi into a Toga tick over here with friendship levels. Took us long enough. This thing is level 37 and we finally got it here. But in today's video, we're going to be heading towards the fifth gym and chasing down this grunt over here. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support channel by smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But now that Togepi has evolved into Togetic, we can give it a flying move because it has flying typing on it. And this is going to be our flyer for this playthrough. Cannot wait to get a Togekiss on the squad, but let's get rid of a move right here. I'm thinking of just getting rid of uh, Double Edge here. I don't really use it that much. Yeah, let's get rid of Double Edge. We'll have that uh, Shockwave for our coverage move. We'll have Metronome just to have some fun in this playthrough because, you know, it can use any move. And then we also have Dazzling Gleam, which is a wonderful stab move for Togetic. But since we just use this thing a a lot we use it a lot in the last couple videos we are going to swap we're going to actually start using other pokemon such as floatzel and Houndoom because you know we always use torterra and we've been using togetic just to try to level it up so let's rock out with those two guys but we'll still have togetic flying around with us because he's a cool little pokemon to walk around with but yeah what's up this is where we ended off the grunts or team galactic was like running around wasn't letting us go somewhere so we had to chase him down here and yo are we versing barry right off the rip are we versing barry right off the rip oh we are we are. I was not expecting this. Let's get after it. Let's give this guy a little whooping. He has four Pokemon. We have... Why do I have five in my party? Do I have an egg? I have an egg. Yeah, I have an egg in my party. I was going to say, who's the fifth Pokemon in my party? Did we catch somebody that I totally forgot about? But now nah, we are thriving here. This guy has just a Starly. Just a Starly, man. That's whack. That's whack. We're just going to go for a physical attack in Aqua Jet. And yo, is this thing a Quick Claw? It has a Quick Claw on it. Okay, I dig it. But we still have first turn priority, so I'm sorry, Starly. You're on out of here. Get him up and get him out of here, yo. Starly down for the count. But yo, if you guys want to catch more content from me, I say this in all my videos, head down to the link in the description below. Name is also on this layout. Genes25 over on Twitch. Definitely go drop a follow. We are building competitive teams over there. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Definitely go check us out. But why did I switch into Togetic? Why did I switch into Togetic? I should have just swapped into Houndoom. But it is all good. We have Aerial Ace on this thing, which can work wonderful. And we get to show it off for the first time. Togetic took us so long, man. Took us so long, but yo, stab aerial ace. Let's do it. One tap him. Yo, Togetic. OP, baby. Togetic ripping. But dude, oh my god, I'm actually so happy that we got this thing, uh, evolved. If you guys haven't checked out last episode, and the way we actually did this was, uh, well, let me bring out my Torterra here. But, uh, the way we actually did this was, we got a bunch of levels. He was not leveling up that way. I took him all the way back to Hearthrum City, and I made a bunch of Puffins. Just like, I'm not even good at making Puffins. I just made a bunch of Puffins, fed him like 10, and then leveled him up. And then he was happy. He was friendly. He was like, yo, let me evolve for you. And that's basically how it went down. That's basically how it went down. But we're just one-tapping up Barry's Pokemon. Like, get him on out of here. Barry's Pokemon cannot hang. They cannot hang. I think his final Pokemon is a Chimchar. At this point, we just bring out Floatzel, and Floatzel should just be able to one-tap it and rip it up. Where's the Monferno now? Yeah, Monferno, when we have Torterra. When our squad is just stacked. Yeah, let's bring out our Floatzel here. Floatzel should just be able to rip it up. But, dude, our team is just, like, nice high level for where we're at in the game. We just beat the fourth gym. We might do the fifth gym today. I'm not too sure. I know we should definitely be able to make it to the town. But depending on how much time we have left in uh, recording, then uh, we'll see. We shall see. Because, actually, the fifth gym is really easy to just make your way to the, uh, the gym leader. It's honestly super, super easy just to make your way to the fifth uh, gym leader. I'm pretty sure if you just, because it's like a question kind of thing, you answer like a few math problems or like some stupid questions. And then if you get them all right, which are not hard to get right, you can walk straight up to the gym leader without versing anybody. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So we might just do that. We might just rip through that gym and just get going from there. But Barry, get on out of here. But it really depends how long the other extra quests take when we're going towards that gym. But later, Barry. Nice seeing you. I don't think you hit me once. I think we one tapped all your Pokemon. You got to get on out of here gotta get on out of here you can't hang with us but we're chasing down this grunt and where does it say to go it say to go hmm all right so we just keep chasing down let's chase down the grunt grunt who had it east of pastoricity cool all right we're on our way dude we're on our way where you at buddy where'd you go i think he's on this beach i think he's right on the yep there he is hi buddy we need the energy from the valley windworks to make this it would take sci a scientific genius to make something like this blah 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 blah. howdy buddy yeah we're here chasing you down again God, you were eavesdropping. Who were you talking to? <laughs> but he's out of here again. We just have to keep constantly chasing him back. And I believe when we hit this, like, resort area, he'll just be like, all right, screw it, and then battle us. I think that's how it works. 
Not too sure. Not too sure. Let's go see it. Let's go check it out. I'm coming for you, buddy. I think he's, he should be up here somewhere. Where you at? There you are, buddy. How you doing? Why am I running away like this? Blah, 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 blah. And I think he battles us. I think he's ready. I think he's just like, screw it. Let's see. No, he does not. I thought he was going to battle us there. Now we're coming after you again, dude. I'm coming after you. Wait, okay. Now he's down here. He barely ran. I think now he wants to battle. <laughs> it's so like, it's so weird. And the best is when you battle him. I'm pretty sure he has like one Pokemon. So it's just like not even worth it. Yeah, like look at this. He throws out one Pokemon. And who is it? Is it a Buizel? It's a Glammeow, dude. It's a Glammy, not even like a Purgly, just a Glammy that I'm just going to one tap up on with an Aqua Jet. I can't wait to get stronger moves for uh, Floatzel. Like we have Aqua Jet and Water Gun. And Aqua Jet's a little bit stronger because Floatzel is a physical attacker. But it's only base 40. Technically base 60 because it gets to one point times five bonus due to stab. But still, still, I want to get a stronger move for Floatzel. Also wants to learn Whir oh. Whirlpool. Do we, do, we, do we forget a move for Whirlpool? I don't think Whirlpool's that good. Traps him in there for five turns. We could get rid of Water Gun. I said we get rid of Water Gun. Honestly, I don't really like. We're not, we're not really going to use Water Gun as much anymore. Whirlpool could be good for bulky Pokemon, like in gyms. If we're having trouble with them, we could just Whirlpool them and just have constant stream damage going around. But other than that, like Water Gun, we don't need it. It's special attacking. Whirlpool special attacking, but again, Whirlpool will do more damage over the time. But we're basically just going to be running this photo with Aqua Jet until we get any better moves. But Mr. Grunt's just like, right, I'm out of here. And where do we go from here? I totally forget. Let's see. Oh, Cynthia's up here. Gives us her next little quest. What's up, lady? Oh, hello. Long time so pe so uh, blah blah. Long time no see. How's Pokedex coming? Blah 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 blah. I was actually hanging out with a bunch of friends, and, <laughs> and my buddy was just like, my buddy was like, oh, like uh, he said uh that this game has like a bunch of reading on it. I was like, what? Nobody ever reads in this game. Everyone just mashes through, hits A. I, I like I barely ever read in Pokemon games. Because the stories are all kind of like the same. They're all like generic. But we get a secret medi medicine from Cynthia, which actually allows us to make our way back towards the route near Floroma City, I should say. Is it Floroma City, I think? Yeah, it's Floroma City, and we went up the wrong route or wrong pathway here. And we get to fight a Ponita. Este el Ponita. But, uh, yeah, we're going to make our way back to Floroma City, kind of in that area. Considering we don't have fly yet, which I'm a little upset at. And I think we just make our way all the way up. Yeah, I, I think I think I misread this game, but I don't think we're going to be doing the gym today. But we have to make our way through the fog, I believe. We have to go verse up on the Psyducks, right? If I check my uh, po my town map, it should say go to the Psyducks. Help the group of Psyducks on route. Yeah, so we have to make our way all the way over there in front of Hearthrum City. Or in front of Floroma City. Bleh. I can't speak today. Can't speak today, but we're thriving. We're thriving. But this is actually a challenging part. I wish we did have a Pokemon with the fog. But we're going to do this through the fog. I, I, I think I had this... Uh, I think I'm, I can do pretty well with the fog path. But yo, the fog in this game, wait till you guys see it. Wait till you guys see it. It's actually pretty crazy. It's actually pretty crazy how how good they actually did work on the fog. Because seriously, you cannot see. You cannot see at all. You're like sitting there, you're like, bro, yo, let me just see. But we make our way towards like the town where you can see like the legendaries, like the ancient relics. So I, I kind of like going to this place. It's pretty cool. But now it's raining. Just make our way back here. Try not to get into any wild battles. We'll be just trying to zoom we just trying to zoom up here. Let's see. Yes, no wild battle so far. This is... Oh, no, we can hop over this rock. I was going to say, that's our last test, that patch of grass. But we don't have to touch it anymore. We are here with the ducks. Howdy, ducks. What's up, ducks? Side ducks are standing firm. They aren't inclined to move at all. Yo, I love these guys. We give them the secret medicine. And, yo, I kind of like this cutscene. Wow, <laughs> wow. And they all like, what? What? And they start booking it. These boys are out of here. Then you got this one lonesome duck over here. He's like, all right, now I'm out of here. But actually, yo, this route's pretty long. This route is pretty long. Why do I think this route was super, super quick? Why do I think this route was super quick? Well, we have to go to deliver this old charm to uh, Celestic Town. We have to go over to Celestic Town, I believe. And get going over there. So I'm going to head up there and make my way towards that way. But first of all, we have tall grass that we have to deal with. And tall grass is a pain. And I think this is a trainer right here, which I will battle. I don't mind battling. I do not mind battling, but let's make our way through the tall grass. Got to get to that fog area. Fog area is a pain. There's two fog areas in this game. So if, Actually, there's three. I should say, yeah, there's three fog areas in this game, and I wish we had the fog. I totally forget where we get it. I totally forget where we get it because it does make this game a lot easier. Makes everything a, a bit easier, but this guy just has Geodudes. We're ripping with our Fluid Soul. Aqua Jet should be able to take him out one shot, unless they're sturdy. Hopefully, they're not sturdy. This one is not sturdy. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like I said, on my streams, we are doing competitive team building. And if you guys have been wondering, like, hey, Jeans, where has the uh, competitive uh, Super and Chill content been? I've been grinding on this game, trying to get you guys, uh, trying to get a competitive team ready so I can showcase double battles and single battles in this game. But Super and Shield uh, rank battles aren't really going anywhere. If you guys do enjoy these battles when I uh, upload them, just let me know in the comment section down below. I probably will never switch over. I'll probably do like half and half. But that's what I've been doing. I've been grinding to make a competitive team. Finally got a good ditto. And I'm starting to work on uh, some really good competitive Pokemon for you guys. So if you guys would like to see any other like or a certain type of Pokemon used in ranked double battles or single battles, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I would love to get you guys feedback. I would love to know what Pokemon you guys would like to see. Because, you know, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Your boy's building a nice little Garchomp. I have a fully maxed IV Garchomp. And I'm working on Star Raptor. I don't know if I'm going to use Star Raptor, but Star Raptor is just a super, super good Pokemon for a lot of teams. But first team, we definitely rock it out with that guard chop. We definitely rock it out with a guard chop. Got a good nature on him. Got good IVs, all that good stuff. And I'm thinking of throwing a Tyranitar on that team because, you know, Sandvale with a Sandstream. Come on, guard chop, Tyranitar combo going to be insane. Going to be super strong. Going to be super strong. But I cannot wait to see what I cook up with that and see how I get rolling. But we are in some deep trouble here. We are in the fog. We are in the fog, and I do not know where to go. We're in a battle. We're in a battle, and this, this is what I'm talking about. The fog is an absolute pain. Hopefully, we might have some repels. Because repels could definitely be beneficial to us. This guy has four Pokemon. It's going to be a bunch of four, four ninny Pokemon. Like, what is this thing? Little Zubat. Little Zubat cooking up here. Little Zubat. And I actually believe we get Fly when we get to this next town, which is really, really good. It's going to be really good for us. Yeah, yeah, send that, built, get him out of here. Floatzel's a beast, yo. A beast with, like, not even that good of moves right now. So I'm loving this Pokemon. We do have Houndoom. He is going to throw out a Skirupi, and I am going to switch into my Houndoom here. Because, you know, Houndoom's super effective on him. And he's shiny. We all love the shiny Houndoom. Thank you guys so much for the support on that video. Hopefully you guys did like my reaction. It was just, like, I wasn't, like, planning on the reaction, but it just, like, happened. <laughs> but I know a lot of you guys clicked on just to see the reaction, because that's a big thing in, like, the Pokemon community. Like seeing people's reactions to shiny Pokemon, because I, I think I think it's cool. I, I do dig watching them as well when I have free time. But shiny Pokemon are so much fun when you get one, because it, it's it's worth time. Especially it is better when it's just a random encounter. Somebody said that in the comment section down below of that video. So if that was you, shout out to you. But yeah, it's definitely a lot better when you have a uh, a random encounter because it's so least expected. When you're shiny hunting, you're kind of expecting eventually getting that shiny, but. When it's randomly encountered, you're just like, dude, no way. I just found this. Like, mine was, I think the odds were, what was it? 1 in 4,093? Something around there. Like, the odds of that happening is nuts. I think it's only, like, my third random encounter shiny. I think it's only my third. Because the odds are just ridiculous. That says a lot about the odds. If this is my third and I grind every single Pokemon game, come on. Come on. That says a lot about the odds. So, it's super, super cool. Go back. Goes down in one shot as well. Houndoom is rolling out here. I think he has one more Pokemon, maybe? Nope, that's it. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Get him on out of here. Ninja Joel. Joel, Joel, however you want to pronounce it. But we kind of make our way here. Do I have any Propels? I think Propels can be super, super beneficial for us. Oh, Mr. Propel. Let's see what we got cooking. Oh, we have, or not Propel. Why I say Propel, like the drink. I'm looking for Repel right here. There we go. I do like me some Propel. It is really tasty. But let's make our way over here. Where do we have to go? I'm guessing over this way. What's up here? We are kind of stuck. It has to be a pathway. Okay, I think we're going the right way. You know, because we found a trainer. <laughs> Usually when you find a trainer, you're going the right way. But dude, the fog is a pain. I'm trying to think how I got through it when I was uh, streaming this. I think I just like kind of like hugged the wall. Kind of just ran that way. But an Esta El Ponita coming out. Let's get it, baby. Love me a good old Ponita. Ponita's sick. Shop a nice little Aqua Jet. Should just be able to one tap and go through it. I did. I do wish like Ponita got like another typing. I think that would be really, really cool. But just like the straight fire typings are all right. In this game, I think there's two. I think it's Arcanine and Rapidash. And Arcanine's way better. Arcanine is. Oh, I kept. Mm, I kept <laughs> floating, yo. Up against a Grotz. Looks like we're gonna have to rip on a bite. But yeah, I, what's it called? Is uh, is uh, I think Arcanine's way better than a. Uh, Than a Rapidash. Arcanine just has a great move pool, especially for competitive. You won't really use Rapidash, but Arcanine's gonna be an absolute monster in competitive. This thing's going to raise his attack stats and his defense stats. Which is a little tough. We're dozing off. Why are we dozing off? I might just swap. Just swapping the Houndoom here. 
We'll probably go for a grass move. Then we can just one tap it with a flamethrower because it is defense boosted. So we might as well go for a special attack. Special attacking shots will take out Grotto. No problem because he's just a defensive bull. He's not really that good on this. Well, he's decent on special defense side, but he's more so for regular defense. There's the grass move. Let's roll out. But actually, in post game, I want to get the hatching charm. And in order for you to get the hatching charm uh, for a. Uh, for this game, you have to verse uh, Mr. Miyamoto, Game Freak Miyamoto. He always puts himself in the game. You have to go verse him over in the area that we were just at. The little, what is it called? Little hotel kind of resort area where we versed a grunt, right right before we versed a grunt. That's where uh, he's located, but you get the hatching charm there. And it was super, super cool because his teams like EV Train, they swapped, they made hard reads. It was really cool. It was really cool. But we find a path here. There is steps right here. Oh my god, like I cannot see. I can see these guys like moving around. And let me switch up my Pokemon here. Yeah, I already have Houndoom in the second spot. I want these two in the spot. I see these people here. There we go. She sees us. Oh, I'm talking to Togepi. There we go. There we go. I was waiting for it. See, like this is what I'm talking about. You cannot see anything. My screen is all white. My screen is just pitch white. Is that even like a phrase, pitch white? I know pitch black is, but like, is pitch white a thing? I don't know. But it's all white. You guys can see that. We can see absolutely nothing. At least, like, in a dark cave, you can see, like, a step around you. Like, I think it's worse to be out here. But we got some... We got the Ruffle match up here. They're both super effective on both of us. And he just dropped my physical attack. Oh, my physical attack and float soul. So we're going to drop a flamethrower over onto the, uh... The Raichu. I think that's our best bet. And then just bite down. Maybe look for a flinch onto the Gyarados. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty. Bite's coming out here. Yo, Big old damage. Even with the Intimidate. It's because we got a crit, which is wonderful. Can Flamethrower kill this thing? It might be able to. I don't think it will, though. It does, yo. Dude, my team is so good. They're so powerful. They're just ridiculously powerful. There we go. And this thing's going to use a Waterfall. It's going to be easy eats. Actually, I thought it was going after Floatzel. I thought it was going after Floatzel, but it's all good. But it's going to come down here, and I am just going to double down on the bite. And that's going to be easy KO, because both my Pokemon outspeed. I knew Floats will win it because he got the crit last time. and But we we're backing him up with our shiny Houndoom. Bang, get this thing all out of here. And now I got to heal it up. Now I got to heal up this lovely Pokemon. And Togetic takes the lead for leading levels for the team. You're level 38. That's awesome. Loving this Pokemon. Loving that Pokemon. But we got to get the other ones up. Because we did grind with Torterra, Grattle, and Turtwig for a good bit until we kind of had our team start to gel out and get some good moves. But then after that, I was like, yo. Togetic or Togepi needs to evolve. That was at, that was like the point of like the last three episodes, just trying to get this Pokemon to evolve. And then we finally got it. So I'm just like, yo, let's not use it for a little bit. But where am I at? I am right here. Which way do I have to go? I have to keep going this way. I think I'm moving. Yeah, I'm moving. Here's steps. Let's keep moving. Now let's go to the right. Would you like to use another one? Uh, no. Because I don't think there's any grass on us. We're on a bridge. I see a bridge. I think we got to be almost here. I see this bridge going downwards. And there's another trainer here. Okay, yeah, we're making our way. We're almost there. We are almost here. <laughs> it's so rough. It's so rough. You could see, like, just, like, a thin, thin margin of the road and everything. And that's why in post-game, you gotta come back here with the fog. So you can get a bunch of cool items and uh, defeat the rest of the trainers. And I believe there's, like, other really good stuff in there. But, dude, it is such a pain. The fog areas are a pain. But at least we're having fun. At least we're getting some good battles in. And, you know, commentating pretty well today. So, guys, gonna Leer chop us down. And that's fine. Can we take this thing out? This thing is level 29. I did give this thing props. I think this might be the highest level we've versed so far. Actually, no. We versed a level 30 Lucario and a level 30 Fluid Soul in the gyms. But outside of the gyms, this is the highest Pokemon we've versed. And it's gonna be good for the fifth gym. Houndoom should be able to rip through. He's dark typing and dark is super effective to the ghost. So I'm actually I'm actually excited for that. Actually excited just to use Houndoom and have him rip through. But there's some XP for everybody. Black Belt Adam goes down. Give me your money. Give me all your money. 928. This guy a little broke boy. He a little broke boy. He's like, this is all I have. Just take it. We're gonna go this way. We're stuck on a wall. We are stuck on a wall. And I believe there's a pathway down somewhere. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. So we found the pathway down. And we have another trainer that I couldn't even see. <laughs> that I couldn't even see. That's great. That's hilarious. But we got Bird Keeper Brianna over here. She wants to smoke. She's going to send out oh, a little hoot hoot. A nice little hoot hoot. I think she does have a knock towel too. If I do remember correctly, but I might be wrong. Jeans might be wrong. Hoot hoot comes out here. 
Floats is gonna be able to rip up on it, and I think Floats might be able to one shot it. Actually, maybe not. Level 27. Let's see. Let's make it happen. Oh, Floatzel. Oh, Floatzel. Can't wait to give this thing like a water plate or like Mystic Water. Just something along those lines to give it a little bit of boost. Noctowl's gonna come out here, and I am going to switch into Togetic. This Togetic is the only Pokemon on our team with a coverage uh, electric move. And that's why I gave it to it, because like we kind of struggle up against some flying Pokemon. Flying Pokemon, we don't really have a lot that's super effective. Until we get, obviously, our later Pokemon. But right now, we're rocking the coverage move on Togetic. And she's ripping up. She's ripping up. Look at that. Half damage. Loving it. Loving it. This thing's going to use Peck. That's easy eats, baby. That thing's pretty bulky. 101 health for second evolution. So the way we get uh, Togekiss is going to be a Shiny Stone. And we get that, I think, after the 6th gym. So in a couple episodes, we'll have a nice, lovely Togekiss. With Serene Grace, and when it evolves, it always gets Air Slash. So that's going to be really good for us. So we can rock that. That's some Gleam, and then two other moves. Obviously, a coverage move. And then maybe... I don't even know what our other move will be. I guess we'll figure that out when we when we get there. We can run up this way. I can't see anything. There's a bridge here, actually. So we're going to go towards the bridge. And I think we make our way towards the town. We did it! Celestic Town. I don't even think we need to heal. I think we just talked to this old lady. Howdy. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but... But it only seems to make him angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. Hey! Hey! What you mean? Come here, buddy. Oh, it's this guy. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. Blah, 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 blah. Shut your mouth. Let me beat you. Don't I have to first him? Yep. Come here. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We might actually get to the uh, fourth gym. Or the fifth gym today. That would be great. I would love to just crush out the fifth gym in today's episode. Because that would be like three gyms in a row, I think. Because we've just been pounding out the gyms. Like I said, like, the next couple gyms, I've been saying this since, like, the third gym, are just, like, straight. Like, you kind of just, like, go through the route, and you can just run straight through it, you know? But then when you go to the sixth and the seventh, you have a long route. Same thing with the seventh of eight and eight. Actually, seven to eight's not too bad. But, uh, six to seventh is a long, it's a long icy route, which I really do like that route. Your tire's gonna level up, and this thing's gonna send out a Krogunk. And I'm just gonna keep my, uh, I'm just gonna keep my, uh, Floats on here. Hopefully this thing's not rocking dry skin. I would be a little upset if it is because then it just soaks this thing up. It's not. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Later, Krogunk. And oh, I thought Houndoom was gonna get a level. It's alright. We're gonna use Floatzel, and then I think we are going to get to that fifth gym today. So if we do, we can just rock out with Houndoom and kind of just run it that way. Get my Houndoom levels up from there. But this dude leaves the cave, and we're gonna head inside of it. So as you guys can see, there's little ancient murals on the wall. You got Palkia on the right and Thiago on the left, which I think is cool. But Elder's right here. We give him the old charm. There you go. We hand the old charm to the Elder. Here you go, Mrs. I don't even know what to call her. Mrs. Old Head. But we can go into these ruins right here. Now we got to make our way back. Let's see what the map says. What does the map say? The map says... Oh, check out the ruins. Obviously. Obviously check out the ruins. Let me go here. The ruins. The ruins. And you can see on the mural, then you got three Pokemon that kind of represent Azelfs, Uxie, and Mesprint, which is really cool. And then later in the story, you guys will kind of see everything fold out. I don't really want to say anything because I know some people are like following the story a little bit, but like, you know, you know about this. But we get TM95s. This is going to be huge for us because you know what TM95s is. It is Surf. We got lovely little Surf. And I could give this a Floatzel. That could be really good for Floatzel, but it's just more physical attack. And so Waterfall is going to be great for it. So we get Surf, which is absolutely amazing. Now we can start making our way back out of here and towards the fifth gym. Lovely little Surf. And oh, my egg, dude. My egg is hatching. My egg is hatching, which is dandy. And yo, shouldn't we have Fly already? I feel like we should have Fly already, right? I don't know why. I felt like in my other playthrough, I had Fly already. And I just dipped out from this town. Now someone let me know in the comment section down below if we should have Fly already. I would love to know. Would you like to give name to happen in? No. No, I would not. I would not. I'm trying to remember. Should we have Fly already? Let's see. Here's Cyrus right here. Because I don't remember going back through the fog area. I do not remember that. Let's see what this guy says. Blah, 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 blah. It's Cyrus over here. Cyrus is a cool guy. And I'm trying to see. Actually, there might be a, like a shortcut. I don't think we have to go back through the fog. I don't think that's a thing. So let's hit the town map here. We have to go back to Hearthstone City, defeat the Hearthstone Gym. So that is where we're at. And I think if we go up this way, we can just dip out. Because where does this lead us to? 
If we're on the town map, this should lead us straight back here. And then we can kind of dip down. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I'm not sure if we should have fly yet. Someone let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think we should have fly yet. But we have this route. We're just going to dip around here. We do have this guy right here, which I do want to piece up. Come here, boy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We coming after you. And I think we can get this gym done. So, I'm just going to try to make my way towards that and get ripping on it. Because our levels are already high. I will face off against a few trainers. But other than that, we're just going to run through it. We're just going to run through this route. But I'm trying, like, I'm trying to, like, deeply remember if I should have fly. Because I'm going to be upset if I if I don't have fly when I should have. But I think it's after, like, the fifth gym when you really, really get fly. Uncle Jet's going to fly through. This thing's level 28. But we still one tap. We still one tap with the one and only Floatzel. But, uh, Surf isn't really too good to give to Floatzel because it's special attack. And Waterfall is the move that we want to give to it. And this thing's going to get payback. And we actually are going to give this thing payback. I do like payback over taunt. We're not really going to use taunt. Payback is really good, for, especially with Pokemon who are faster than us, because if they hit us first, then, more importantly, we get the double damage when going after them. But we got a Happening on our squad now, which we are not using for our team. We just have them, because we don't feel like going and putting them in the box. Happening wants to learn Sweet Kiss. No Happening. Leave us alone. Let us just battle. Let us battle. Metatite's going to come out here. We should be able to just one-tap it with a lovely little, uh, lovely little Aqua Jet. Just been rolling strong for us. Let's send it again. Oh, come on, man. Why are you detecting? Like, that does nothing. I get if, like, a Trick Room's in effect or, like, I don't know, we're burned or something. But, like, Protect is nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Let's go Aqua Jet here. Yeah, you Send it that way. And later. Later, Metatite. Get them all out of here. Get them on out of here. We grew to level 10, which is great. And we're about to send out a Machoke. I should have got my Togetic out there. Should have got the Togetic out there. And I might just hit this thing off with a lovely little Whirlpool. But I'm thinking, oh, yo, we're light on the moves. We're light on the moves. We have three moves left. Hopefully, I'm, I have an Ether somewhere up my sleeve. But we're just going to keep ripping with the Aqua Jets. We'll use up all the Aqua Jets. And then we'll, uh, we should have an Ether. We should have an Ether for our squad. Well, here comes another Aqua Jet. Give us a crit. Oh, we, no way. <laughs> no way. So that's how you guys get a crit. You just have to, like, legit speak to the camera. Be like, hey, let me get a crit. And they'll be like, all right, here you go. Here's for crit. Yo, happening. Stop learning moves, man. You're not allowed to learn anything. Like, we're not giving you anything. You don't, you don't, we're not going to use you. And if I am going to use you, it's only going to be competitive. And at that point, I'll build another one. Let's rip up over. Oh, my God. I was going to say, let's rip up over here so we don't get any Pokemon. But we, we get in a battle with a Ponita. But I do have to give my boy an Ether. Floatzel, you have to get an Ether. An either Ether. What do you guys call it? But let's run this one. Let's keep moving along. Moving along, moving along. Let me pull out. Hopefully, we have an ether. Right? Do we have one? Actually, it should be over in this one. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's like we're swapping Pokemon here. It's like we are swapping Pokemon. Yeah, Torterra. Let's get Torterra up in here. Let's get ripping with the Torts. With the Tortugas over here. But we're going to use Cut here with Badoof. <laughs> Lovely little Badoof. And then we're just going to get moving along with uh, Torterra here. But I believe we could just like surf down the route, right? On Cornet here. We got a nice little escape rope. Even though we're... I don't think we're going to use it at all. I think we just go down this way. And get moving along. Dun. 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 Metatite. And do we have strength? I think we do have strength. I think we can just push these rocks and go... Go towards Hearthrone. I should actually use a Repel. Repel would be lovely. We do, we do have strength, but we can't use it yet. Dude, I'm telling you, I should have fly by now. I don't know why I'm saying that. I just feel like we should. But let me actually use this. Because we cannot go this way. We have to go around this way. And then we can't do anything. We don't have that. So what we have to do is go back through the fog to get to the gym. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. What's up here? We have rocks. Oh, my God. We got a bunch of battles. We got a bunch of battles. No. I'm not battling these guys because we eventually have to come back here. But we don't have strength yet. We just got Surf. We just got Surf. But, yo, I'm telling you, we should have Fly already. We should have Fly, I'm pretty sure. I think you're allowed to, like, use it after, like, the fourth gym. But we do not have a TM. Which I'm trying to, like, remember where you get it at. And I couldn't tell you where we get it at. But, luckily, we have our Torterra out here. He's going to be able to rip through with EQs. We're going to defeat this. And then I think we have to make our way, personally, back through the Fog. But I, I, I don't think that, uh... I don't think that we needed it. Like, I don't remember going back through it when I played. 
I don't remember that. Let's go into our floats. Mm, let's go into our Houndoom again. Houndoom's gonna be able to rip up. We're gonna be able to do fine with that. Yeah, if that's the case, I'm just gonna probably cut that out. I don't feel like running through the fog with a uh, on recording. It's just gonna be a pain in the neck. But we shall see. We shall see. Flame Thrower comes out here. We're gonna say later, Golbat. Golbat's gonna get on out of here. I feel like yo, Houndoom's like the the bat killer, yo. In both my playthroughs, I had a Houndoom on my team, and every time a Crowbat, a Zubat, or like a Golbat would come out here, I'm just sending out my Houndoom because Houndoom's just ripping up there. He's just ripping up there. But we defeat this guy right here. We ripping up. We do have a repel, so we should be able to just run through this grass pretty easily. Pretty simple. And so let's go this way. And get a move on. Get a move on. Because we obviously can't go that way. Effect worn off at like the perfect time. At the perfect time. But we had to head back through the gym. So in this case, I'm just gonna cut till we get to Hearthrum City. So I'll catch you guys there. How did you guys let me forget this? I knew we should have had fly. It just clicked in my head when I was running through the fog again. We forgot to pick up fly all the way back in Bilestone after we uh defeat the grunts over here. This was a while ago. This was like after the second gym or maybe even before the second gym. No, it was after the second gym. But we get fly now. We can use it. I knew I should have had it back then. But we have it now. Now we can just fly straight to Hearthroom City. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to go fly to Hearthroom City. And I think we're just going to go defeat the gym leader real quick. I'm down with it. I'm down with the three episodes in a row of us just smacking on gym leaders left and right. I'm with it all day. So let's go here. Let's, uh, do I even need to heal my Pokemon? I'll just restore Houndoom. I'll just give him a nice little, little super potion here. But I do want to swap him out into the front spot because we do have a special or not special attacking moves. We have dark moves, which are going to be great up against this gym. But this gym should just be straight to the right, I believe, if I remember. Right here, baby. Let's get after it. Fifth gym going to be in the books after this. And I'm telling you guys, this gym is pretty simple. It's pretty simple. You do not really have to battle anybody. I think if you just get every question right, you kind of just roll. And it's like simple. Ready? Like, look at this. Question. What is three plus five plus seven? Like, come on. Come on, it, like, like, do, do we not know how to do simple math? Do we not know how to do simple math? We're going to be on to our next thing up here. I, I don't even know what that sign does, but the question's at the top of all these signs right here. And I think they're all, like, math kind of stupid problems. What is 12 plus 28? Oh, my lord, it is 40. Come on, jeans. We are good at math. We are a college student. <laughs> we are a college student. I was just like, what is X? What does what it should give us, like, a huge Calc 2 problem? You're just like, bro, what you mean? Question, what is 3 times 13? Just 39. Oh my lord. This gym, too easy. Onward, though. This might be the easiest gym. Quickest gym, you could probably just fly. It's probably a blessing for speedrunners. Let's see this one. Question, what was the first room's answer? It was 15. Because it was 3 plus 5 plus 7, something like that. And there we go. We're at the gym leader already. Let's take her out. Let's get ripping on her. See how easy it is? See how easy this is? I knew we should just, or we could have just been able to run straight to it. But awesome, awesome, awesome. We And then in the next episode, we just pretty much make our way to the 6th gym. 6th gym is not that hard to get to. Now that we have Fly, we can get even closer. But Gym Leader Fatina over here. Let's give her a whoop. And she's going to send out Drift Pump. She does have some cool Pokemon. I do dig a lot of her Pokemon. She's going to pop out with a nice little Drift Limb. What's goody, Drift Limb? How you doing? How you doing? And our Shiny Houndoom is going to get ripping. Even though he's not on the physical attack side as much, he's still going to be able to do some nice damage. But he's going to fly out here. Probably two tap this Pokemon. Yep, there's one. She might restore that. That's at a decent health. She's going to fly out. Now, if I had protect, it would just be an easy protect, but we're just going to take this hit. We're going to take this one to the chin. Now, she, can she heal him up there? That would be nice to fly out and then just use a heal. Or no, no, you can't because that's considered your turn. All right. Yeah, yeah, We good. We good. Well, he's going to come out here. Later, Drift Limb. Get him on out of here. Get some all. Oh, he's Aftermath. A lot of these Pokemon will have Aftermath. But we get a mean amount of XP from Gym Leader Pokemon such as this because it's a high level and it is Evo, which is great. Look, look at that, 1008, everyone's getting leveled, and I totally forgot to put my habit in the way, dude. <laughs> Happens she gonna get levels here. Gengar's gonna come out here, and that's a little scary. Gengar is a little scary, but we might be able to one-tap him because this thing is a glass cannon. He's level 34. Does he outspeed me? He might outspeed me. Let's say, yeah, he does. Can you sludge bomb? Can we eat that? Bro, what you mean? <laughs> Houndoom down for the count. It's all good. Let's bring out the one and only. I could bring out Torterra. Floatzel could be nice. Actually, Floatzel does have Bite on her. Yeah, let's go Floatzel here. And for some reason, I don't know why, I feel like this Gengar has an electric move up its sleeve. I don't know why. I feel like it has an electric move right up its sleeve. Rocking the berry. Rocking the lovely berry. That's going to be able to soak up damage. Next one's definitely going to be able to kill it. You got the Cobra berry. 
using it up. That's a good move. And this thing's... Mm. You know we hate Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray is like the most annoying move in solo playthrough Pokemon. But this terrain looks sick. Like, look at like the background with like the glass murals. They look so sick. Good, Floatzel. Land this. Land this, Floatzel. I love you. I love you, Floatzel. Floatzel getting off a big bite. Gengar is getting on out here. And it kind of stinks because our Houndoom not going to get any XP from that. Not going to get any XP from that. Big XP. 1,500. Happening's getting a ton of XP. Happening grew to level 20. Do not learn any moves. God dang it. She wants to learn Charm. And no, we're not giving you a move happening. You're going straight in the box after this. Final Pokemon is going to be Miss Magius, which is fine. I'm just going to go for a bite here. Try to pick up as much damage as I can. And then maybe I can just go for an Aqua Jet. But I think Floatzel should be able to outspeed a lot of them. But the gym leader definitely took a level jump. That took a huge level jump. She's about the same level as us. Not too bad. We're confused. And we hurt ourselves. Come on, man. We needed that turn. She's going to go for... I feel like she has an electric move. Magical Leap. She has a grass move. We eat. We eat, which is great. And we know we outspeed, so we're just going to try to get off a bite here. We're so confused. What you mean? Thank you, Floatzel. Thank you, Floatzel. Getting off a big old bite. Bringing that thing down to yellow and pretty much going to solidify the battle. He flinched, too. Now, I think that this thing actually uses a uh, potion. But this one's pretty much over because we should snap out of confusion here. Right? There's no way we go for four-turn ducks. It's just not happening. Potion comes out. Heals that thing back to max. We snap out of confusion. Bite comes out here. Bring it down to like red. Now we can just go for an Aqua Jet and pretty much finish this one off. Aqua Jet coming in here. Oh, come on, man. What do you mean? <laughs> Another potion. Another potion. Get on out my face. Get on out my face. Let's rock another Aqua Jet. Yo, doing some damage. And now a bite for sure. We'll be able to finish this thing off. Bite coming out here. There it is. GG's. Easy peasy. Light work. Light work all day. Fifth gym in the bag. Fifth gym in the bag. We're just collecting these gym badges left and right. Hopefully next episode we can just grind to Candlelave City and get uh, lucky number gym badge six. That would be awesome. But we defeated Gym Ladder Fantina and we get ourselves another lovely badge. And I'm trying to think what move we get. What move do we get? I feel like it's a, it's a solid move. It might be, is it Shadow Call? It could be Shadow Call. What ghost move are you giving us? You received the Relic Badge. I do like how this badge looks. It's like a cool little triangle. It's one of the cooler looking ones. I do like the Ice Badge and the Beacon Badge. The 7th and 8th Gym Badge. I think they're really cool. And the Forest Badge is pretty sick. The second gym. We get TM65s and I totally forget what this move is. I think it's something good. It's Shadow Call. Yeah, see, it's Shadow Call. Shadow Call is such a great move. And is there like a shortcut out of here? I wish there was a shortcut out of here, but we have to go all the way back to the beginning through all these elevators. Through all the elevators. Like, why do they make that? Other gyms will have just like a shortcut out the right side, which I think this one should have had just like a, an instant elevator. But if you guys want more XP when doing this gym, do not answer the questions right. Just go in all the wrong doors and you will get a lot of XP, which is awesome. You get a lot of XP because each door that you get wrong has a trainer in it. So there's an extra six trainers that you can potentially burst. We didn't do that because we just wanted to run through the gym and beat it. But maybe we should have. Maybe we should have gotten the XP. But I think we should be fine just grinding out this game and getting XP off screen if we definitely need it. But I don't think we're going to need it. I think our levels are just fine. I think we're thriving here. I think we are thriving here. But we make our way out of the gym. And Cynthia's right here. Giving us another task. God dang it, Cynthia. Always, always on top of us giving us tasks. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> But she talks about Team Galactic, and I think she just sends us on our way towards the 6th gym. I'm pretty sure that's how it happens. And then after the 6th gym, we start kind of getting after Team Galactic that way. But I guess we'll see you in the next episode. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to he start heading to Candlelave City and towards that 6th gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.